Health economics informs decisions about how healthcare should be provided. There are limited resources available for healthcare. Health economics can find the best way to use these resources. To improve the health and well-being of people, we need to know what people value. However, these values can be hard to obtain in practice. Discrete choice experiments can help. Discrete choice experiments are based on the idea that people value the characteristics that make up a healthcare service. For example, take Karen. Karen and her daughter have moved to a new place, and Karen has to decide which health clinic to join. The clinic characteristics that could be important to Karen are Who would she get an appointment with? A family doctor or nurse? How long would she have to wait to get her appointment? This could be on the same day or on a later date. Will she always see the same health professional? Or where is the clinic located? Karen's decision shows us what is important to her. Karen chooses a clinic further from home because she will always get an appointment with a family doctor. In economics, we call this a trade-off. Trade-offs are important because something is only of value if we're willing to give something else up for it. In health economics, we are often trading money or time. From Karen's decision, we learn she values seeing a family doctor because she's willing to spend more travelling to this clinic. In this way, trade-offs can show us how much people value things. But it can be difficult to observe choices like Karen's in the real world. Discrete choice experiments use surveys and ask people to make trade-offs such as the ones Karen made. If we were to ask Karen to complete a discrete choice experiment based on her decision, we would ask Karen to choose between two different clinics. We call these alternatives. Each alternative clinic is described by four characteristics. Who treats you? How long you wait for an appointment? Whether you see the same person each time? And how far you travel to the clinic? We would ask Karen to make a series of choices. These choices are designed so that the clinic's characteristics are slightly different each time. Karen's answers to these choices allow us to work out her preferences. We can work out how far Karen is willing to travel to join a clinic that offers same-day appointments. We can also work out how long Karen is willing to wait for an appointment to always see the same doctor. At the Health Economics Research Unit, we have used discrete choice experiments for more than 20 years. We have investigated preferences for healthcare across many settings. We have measured the value of healthcare in terms of money, waiting time, or even willingness to accept extra risk. These values can be used by decision makers to design healthcare services that help improve people's lives.